the setting Miami, Florida, with game time only moments away. The Knicks taking on the Heat for the Knicks. As we close out the first half of the season, they rank 10th in the East, looking to rally and improve that position going forward. Heat, Knicks coming right up on 2K Sports. Hello basketball fans, you've got it on 2K Sports as we get set to bring you an exciting NBA basketball game. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Brent Berry and Greg Anthony. We've got David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. And here's the upcoming schedule now for the Miami Heat. On Monday, they'll be matching up against Gordon Hayward and the Charlotte Hornets. And for the matchup with the Bulls, it's going to be an all-out battle. And you just hope they are rested and able to execute their game plan as it's going to be a tremendous challenge. So the New York starting five. Randall will step in at the four with Robinson as the center. Out on the perimeter, DiVincenzo and Barrett. And it's quickly in at the point guard position. And for Miami, backcourt guards are Lowry and Hero. Butler out there with Kevin Love. And it's Adebayo in at the five spot. Conference rivals, Greg, butting heads in this one. How does that raise the stakes here? Well, both teams want this one bad. And, and a chance to prove they're the dominant squad. I, I think it's going to get pretty heated at some point here tonight. Randall finds DiVincenzo. Now here is Robinson. Back to DiVincenzo. Driving the lane. And he throws it down hard with one hand. DiVincenzo just one step ahead of the D that time. And here is Butler. Adebayo with a screen on Barrett. Shots good by Butler. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. Yeah, the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Now, here's Quickly. Takes it inside, uses the glass to finish the layup. In an instant, quickly saw the opening, didn't hesitate. And about a minute gone here in the first quarter. Quickly against Lowry, pass to Hero. Back to Lowry. Good on the triple. When he's hitting that shot, this offense becomes scary. Even more difficult to defend. Yeah, no question. When he is connecting from those kind of spots on the floor, it is just a huge boost for what they can do offensively. The three to DiVincenzo. Love grabs the board. And it's Butler with the ball. He'll bring it up for Miami. This game coming on the heels of their win against Toronto. Remarkable consistency from deep. You can't count on that every game, especially on the road. Yeah, the interesting part was they kept firing away in that game, but the defense didn't make much of an adjustment. Here's quickly Jimmy Butler making his last shot. Poke loose. Here's Lowry. Taking a look at the scoring numbers right now, he averages about nine points a game. Adebayo kicks to Butler. Adebayo with a screen on Barrett. Here's Butler, and it's Miami with another. Jimmy Butler has great patience to go along with that strength to operate in the pick and roll. For New York, they've gone two or three here to start out the game. Can they get it? And it's laid in by Randall. Uncovered at the rim, finding cracks in the defense here early on. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. Well, he leading by three. 
the physicality Randall plays with night in and night out, Brent, is impressive. Yeah, he's one of those guys, Kevin, when you have this matchup, he's such a workhorse, you feel like he's going to eventually just wear down his opponent. He's got great conditioning, and he's always on the floor. And Tyler Hero gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. DiVincenzo's decision that time, pretty solid there, taking the initiative and then taking the contact. The next shooting their initial free throws of the game right here. And, and as a unit, they're shooting 78% from the line. That's a solid number to work with on the season. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. And for a team in the NBA's biggest market, Brent, amazing that it's been five-plus decades since the Knicks' last title. All right, that's unbelievable. I mean, they've been close a couple times, but that has not been in recent history, Kevin, as you know. They've had a lot of great players, but, man, it just shows you how hard it is to win in this league. And for DiVincenzo coming into the league wanting to prove that he belongs, he's done more than that. It's about building his confidence now. Now here's Butler. This game he had 12. Here's Adebayo. Good, and Butler gets the assist. Well, because he's such a good scorer, people don't always talk about Jimmy Butler, the playmaker. Randall passes to Barrett. Randall with a screen for Barrett. Back to Randall. Takes a three. Buries the long-range jumper. Randall's got five points so far. Man, right off the bat, super sharp here offensively. Four of five so far. And so here is Miami. Passes to Autobio. Charity stripe shot, and there's another one for the Heat. And you hear the word versatility so much associated with Bam Autobio and his game. And the mid-range is coming along as well. Now here's Randall. He had an 18-point outing in the last game against Toronto. Lest us not forget about the work on the glass. His effort level was a 10 that night out of 10. Here's quickly. And the Knicks hit again from deep. And since going in the 2020 first round, quickly has gotten a lot more selective with his shot taking and shot making. A sign of maturity. And it's Lowry with the ball. Brings it up for the Heat. They trail by one. Outside Robinson. Pass to Autobio. Kicks it out to Love. Trying to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. Quickly with it, Lowry picks him up, and it's quickly missing. Man, I thought he was making that in so close. That's some aggressive defense. Butler passes to Love, and the shot goes in. That's a nice touch from Kevin Love. When he's deep inside like that, he's adept at like, guiding those shots home with a soft touch. Quickly against Lowry. Now, here's Barrett. Tight defense on him. Lowry against Quickly. Barrett. Four seconds left outside for Robinson. Here's DiVincenzo. And there's the call on Dante DiVincenzo. That's his first foul. You got to be in control when you go to the rack, and he was not. You can't just run guys over. Josh Richardson's checked in for Kyle Lowry. Miami's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Richardson the pass to Robinson. Robinson sets a screen for Richardson, and there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. When a pick like that is questionable and creates that much of an advantage for the offense, you have to to blow the whistle. Yeah, a quick little lean like that is going to get the ref's attention. Foul call. Count that one. Randall's got seven points in the game. Well, they're trying to take command of this game, but it's been competitive so far. Yeah, everybody trying to get away from one another, and the threads are keeping them close. This has been highly competitive. Here's Butler following the basket by Julius Randall. And here's the fast break. Barrett leading the way. It's hauled in by Bam Adebayo. Richardson with it. Picked up by Barrett. Here's Robinson. The kick outside to Butler. 
again, the miss by the Heat. The Knicks with the lead. Quickly with it. He had 28 points in the win against the Raptors in Toronto. And he passed the ball so well in that game, keeping everybody involved, even as he was racking up all those points. Just four to shoot. Outside for Randall. There's three pointers off the mark. For Miami, they've gone 7 of 12 from the field here in the first quarter. Here's Robinson. Drops it in from 11 feet. Well, most guys avoid the mid range, but Robinson not afraid to take the shot that he can get. Now Randall. He's got seven. DiVincenzo finds Randall. The putback. And Adebayo sends it back. Richardson against DiVincenzo. They get it back. And it goes down two points. Six points for him. Not just the accuracy in the quarter. It's his movement and the energy that's getting him on this nice roll. And the Knicks decide to take their first time out here. And the players on your screen now have been experts with the ball in their hands for the last 10 games, leading the small forward position in assists. Number one, Jimmy Butler. He just sees the entire floor so well. And from the wing, it's that vision that enables him to penetrate and find the open man in a very crowded area. Well, it's one thing not just to do it in the half court, but to see it in the open floor, recognizing your four other teammates running the wings. Those passing skills are special. Knicks trail by three. Randall surveying the D. Robinson passes to Quickly. Off the mark there with a the three-point shot. I'm not sure how he finds himself in so much space there. He's kicking himself for whiffing a bit on that one. Outside for Robinson. Good, and Butler gets the assist. Butler's got three assists now in this one. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they've shot the basketball. So for New York, their last game, a win against the Raptors in Toronto. Here's quickly. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. And you know, Greg, they call him IQ. Instant offense is Emmanuel quickly. Yeah, and he puts points on the board quickly. <laughs> no pun intended. A volume three-point shooter and has a deadly little floater in the lane. A free throw drops for quickly. And Greg, with back-to-back -back games part of the schedule, how do teams feel getting into the latter part of that combo, uh, like tonight? Well, these games can be especially taxing mentally and physically. At this point, it's a war of attrition, and really, who can survive the night? And quickly drops them both. When we talk about Emmanuel quickly, Brent, his last name really describes him well, doesn't it? Yeah, Kevin, this guy is fast, a source of immediate energy uh, that provides this team a spark, especially on offense. This guy can be really aggressive. And out of bounds as the Knicks gain possession. And a chance to check out the numbers for R.J. Barrett. He's right around 13 points a night, three rebounds, and two assists. We know that he can come up with the occasional big play, but his overall numbers haven't been impressive. There is a bit of a feeling they're all looking to him to step up, and they know he's capable of doing it right now, just, just not getting it done. Now here is Robinson. Scoreless thus far. Kicks to Barrett. And it's quickly in the corner. Down to five on the shot clock. Sends it back. And Butler, really, he's a two-way terror. I mean, that's the only way to say it. Sending that one back. Love with a wide-open look. Misses the three. And they've come out with a take-no-prisoners approach on the glass here tonight, guys. And the shot goes down. 
Taking it up strong against size. He does not lack for confidence. Yeah, hard to stop it there if you're the big man. That's just too good a shot and great concentration. Adebayo with a screen on DiVincenzo. Robinson misses. New York's gone 2 of 5 from three-point land here in the first quarter. A nice shot by Hartenstein. Hartenstein's got the game tied up here for the Knicks. Dante DiVincenzo with a real nice team first play. Timeout, and Miami timeout. calls their first time out of the game. And Brent, how about Bart? this Mitchell Robinson kid? His work ethic inside, impressive. Oh, so dominant, Greg, on the inside. He's got that reach, able to go up and bother shots. He, he also led the league in field goal percentage in just his second year. So he knows where it is he's going to eat. Don't be surprised if he does that again. And New York making a change here. A moment to check out Bam Adebayo here. Over the last month, he has been spectacular. And he's as opportunistic as anybody defensively, ranking among the top 15 league-wide in steals per game. And he's so explosive, so hungry. You really can't keep him off the glass when he wants to get there. That's why he's top five in rebounding. Now, here's Adebayo. Well, the ferociousness that Robinson can have around the rim is impressive. Here's Barrett. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And the slashing lefty, R.J. Barrett Brent, always looking to go downhill. Yeah, and that's his strength, literally. As he improves as a perimeter player, that's going to help him out. But, man, that strength and his ability to go through guys, it's special. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. One falls, and that puts him up by one point. Barrett, just one of those guys who you can see the competitive drive that he has. He's a hungry player. He's young, and there's no doubt he's going to get better. He doesn't get the second one. Heat shooting at a nice 53% rate to start the game. They are sticking to the campaign. Robinson dishes to Richardson to the inside. Mark. That one's off. Still out of sync. And Barrett has got the ball here for the Knicks. Crafty move. No good on the layup. Well, if he's going to keep shooting, they've got to run some plays for him. Screens, pick and rolls, anything they can do to get him started. Richardson, no luck. New York's gone 2 of 5 from three-point land here in the first quarter. And Barrett gets it to go. And the Knicks lead by three. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high percentage looks from inside. Adebayo with a screen for Martin. Miami no good on that time either. Knicks shooting 47% from the field to start things off. To the middle. And he goes in for the dunk. Total letdown by the D. Can't leave the bucket unprotected. Absolutely. And it attacks an easy two points onto the lead. Will not find a higher percentage opportunity than that. 143 left in the first quarter. And the Heat call time, time here. And as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. And Kevin, it really is. And every one of these players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink. Especially uh, towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. Here's Richardson, still without a basket. Inside, here's Adebayo. Robinson with the block. 
And it goes out of bounds. That went off Robinson. A sensational block that definitely deserves another look. And sharp instincts on D there. Just timing. When to rise up and swat that one away. One thirty left here in the first quarter. And their three-point shot is just off the mark to start the game. And the pass to McBride. Robinson with it. Hartenstein passes to Barrett. Just five on the clock. Over Richardson. Barrett, no good. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the quarter. Trying to get something going, and he hits the jump shot. It took no time for Richardson to get that shot off. Phenomenal at the pull-up off the dribble. Robinson against Barrett. Pass to McBride. Here's Grimes. And the three ball is good. And the Knicks lead by six. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Richardson kicks to Adebayo. Martin wide open. He fires. Tried to answer back. But that three is off the mark. But whether the shots are wide open or contested, he is just having no luck right now, guys, with anything. And he comes up with the deuce. Yeah, he's going to find a way to score. RJ sniffing out the opportunity there. Here's Miami now. Outside, Martin. Richardson outside. Three-pointer. Connects from three-point range. Richardson's got five points so far. And they're scoring pretty well as we conclude the first quarter. Knicks out front, ending the first quarter with a massive 16-5 run. We'll be back shortly live from Miami Arena. And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for New York. And they've set the tone from the jump. They're looking to pound it inside and score in the paint. Well, one thing standing out right now is just how fearless everybody is in getting to the inside. They're taking advantage of any lane or angle they get to get after them. The Heat trail by five. G.A., the three-point shooting for Miami has been the story. Sometimes they run cold, like a lot of teams. Man, when they're hot, they are fun to watch. A couple years back, Kevin, they led the league in percentage from long distance. Last season, one of the worst in that category until the playoffs, where they rediscovered that shooting touch. So with Butler sitting on the bench, this is who Eric Spolstra has on the floor. Brian is out there with Caleb Martin. Then it's Tyler Hero. Then there's Hampton. And it's Jovic in at the three, the small forward. They are just killing them on the interior. Miami's gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. Hampton kicks to Bryant. Bryant with a screen on Randall. And it's Martin missing. Well, he wants to shoot his way out of this cold spell, but the struggles continue. Yeah, he's got to move on, forget about this sequence here, and, and try to find a way to get on the board. Now here's Randall. That's good, and that evens things out for him. 50-50. Four of eight shooting this game. 
They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. The Heat trail by nine. And here is Hampton. Master Hero. To the paint. Here's Bryant. And the dunk by Bryant. A good job by Tyler just finding the open teammate and showing some good awareness. Second quarter of basketball, just over a minute and a half played. Pass to Hart. There's the pass to Hartenstein. Here's Grimes. And again, New York with the triple. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. The Heat have gotten only one of their first four shots in the second quarter to drop. Ryan sets the screen for Hero. Fires at the elbow. Again, the Heat good for two. Hero can beat his opponents from all over the floor. He can get that shot off so quick. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played so far. Grimes passes to Hartenstein. And here is Hart. Six to shoot. Three-pointer, Randall. And again, New York with the triple. His shooting has been outstanding. You're definitely one of the reasons they're up in this game. Hero against Hart. Hero passes to Jovich. It's Martin on the wing. Pass to Jovich. Heat moving the ball around. Here's Hampton. It's rebounded by Hartenstein. Hartenstein's got six rebounds now in the game. A good board there, Kevin, but overall they're getting slightly out-rebounded. And here's Hero. He'll bring it up for the Heat. 11-point game. It's off to Charlotte for him after this game as they take on the Hornets. That'll be just one game played away from home for them. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. Now, here's Hampton. Hasn't made one yet. Passes it to Jovich. Four on the shot clock. Hero from long range. Miami no good on that time either. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Randall. Good on the bucket. Randall's got 14. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. The Heat trail by 15. Hero on the wing. Defended by Hart. Shot to stop the run. Hero no good. So for New York, their last game, a win against Toronto. Here's McBride. Pass to Hartenstein. Now here's Hart. Randall left side. And no good. Trying to use the glass. I saw a green light there. The D's not going to get away with that kind of lapse all that often here tonight. Hampton passes to Hero. Now the pass to Jovich. Nailed from three-point land. Jovich has got his first three points of the game. Well, nice vision on that pass from Hero, and he put the ball right in the shooting pocket. Pass to Hart. Here's Hartenstein. Defended by Bryant. Here's Hartenstein. And he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. That's what he gives you. A big time presence on the glass. And you know what, Greg? Once he gets his hands on it, he's not even thinking about kicking it out. Oh, his competitiveness right now is why the teammates love him. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. New York City remains a basketball mecca. 
NYC legend and former Nick Mark Jackson always talks up the basketball environment. He says, coming up in New York, it's all about the grit, the grind, the edge, the competitiveness, the swag, the confidence, the struggle, and the embracing of the bright lights. Kevin? Well, it's all there, and it is the biggest stage for sure. David, thanks. And it's out of bounds. The Heat will take it the other way. Adebayo is checked in for Miami. Lowry comes in for Hampton. The Knicks making a switch here. The Heat trail by 11. Lowry with the ball. Eight points his last outing. Adebayo with the screen on quickly. The 10-footer. And Adebayo with the basket on the assist by Lowry. Eight points for Bam Adebayo. Really just mastery in the pick and roll from Kyle Lowry, per usual making the correct decision. Here's quickly. He's got seven. Randall outside. That's tipped. Now Hero. 37 points in the win against the Raptors in Toronto. And don't forget about the work he did on the boards. His rebounding was a huge help in that game. The Knicks leading by seven. And here's Randall. 14 points for him. Passes it to Grind. And that time, also a missed shot. He'd have gone 6-12 of in the second quarter, right at the 50% mark from the field. Lowry has the open look. No good from outside. New York's gone 5 of 10 from downtown tonight. 50% exactly. How have you spent your first four seasons playing in New York? What's that like? But when the Knicks are winning, Kevin, there is no place you'd rather be. The fans are incredibly smart, loyal, and they'll treat you like a king. But no doubt that media sure, pressure is for real. The first one falls. And often players want to discuss calls with the officials. But, Greg, what was your approach with those conversations with referees? <laughs> Kevin, well, it, it depended on the conversation. But at the end of the day, you realize they've got a job to do just like you do. And you try to keep it as respectful as possible and yet still be able to get your point across. Well, it doesn't seem to matter, Brent, who they bring in. Everyone seems to fit in this system in Miami. Well, their identification process and their scouting, they do a fantastic job of putting guys in here who are hungry to go about their business. So it's a nice mix. You have young guys, you have veterans, and then they have the right star to follow. Here's Lowry following the score by New York. Now the dish to Martin. Pulls up on the elbow. Robinson pulls it in. Robinson's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Yeah, this has been a night where you can look at his shooting and his performance, and it's affected the team. That's the bottom line. Now, here's Barrett. He's got five. <laughs> R.J. Barrett getting up there. Don't contest anyone. And on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam, you can see how impressive that move was. And Zalawi will bring it up for the Heat. Three-pointer, Martin, and he's good on the three ball. Martin's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Now, here's DiVincenzo. He's got nine. He kicks it to Barrett. sends it back and Pam with the emphatic block Butler no good New York leading by nine here's DiVincenzo pass to quickly and he drops it in from the low post quickly's got nine Quickly didn't hold back there, taking some contact inside if he has to. 
lead, shooting 41% from the field in the second quarter up to this point. And Adebayo throws it down. And Bam with great hands there to leap up and time that one. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. And the Heat with some changes. Love check in for Bryant. And Hero subbed in for Martin. Randall's checked in for New York. New York leading by nine. Quickly with it. He's got nine. In the corner, it's DiVincenzo. Hits it from three-point range. DiVincenzo's got six here in this quarter. Yeah, DiVincenzo knocking down shots like this is going to help everybody get the space they need. Lowry setting the pick for Butler. Outside for Lowry. Shoots over DiVincenzo. Offensive rebound. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the chart. Misses in close. The Heat trail by 12. Here's Hero. Kept alive. Kicks it out to Love. Lowry deciding where to go with it here. Shot clock at six. And Adebayo throws it down. Big time scoring explosion in this one from Bam. Didn't think he would have this kind of offensive impact. 136 left in the first half of the game. Outside for Randall. And stolen by Butler. Three on three. And the call will be against Emmanuel quickly. That's his first foul. One twenty-five left in the second quarter. Down low. Here's Adebayo. The shot's good on the assist by Butler. Adebayo's got it back down to within single digits for the Heat. New York's gone 6 of 11 when they've taken the three-point shot tonight. Very respectable. The pass to Barrett. Kicks it to Randall. Lowry against quickly. Five on the clock. Not loose. Now Butler. He's got six. Dishes it to Love. Randall with the ball. Butler covering. All going up court. Here's Barrett. From the right block, the shot is good. Barrett's got nine. A really good focus from RJ there. I think that improves his percentages. Here's Lowry, and the Heat get another bucket right there. We've got 28 seconds left in the first half. Quickly the pass to DiVincenzo. Robinson a screen on Hero. It's Barrett on the wing. Robinson finds Barrett. And a miss there on the triple. on the wing from outside off the mark and so it's the New York Knicks holding on to an 8 point lead heading into the break their lead is where it is because they've gotten good shots a lot of good shots and now let's catch up with David Aldridge who's standing by from the sideline alright Dave thanks very much coach this team is still developing what do they need to do to really reach their max just keep working every day. Give maximum effort, great concentration, and play to win. Make winning plays. Sounds simple, but I know it's not, Coach. Thanks for your time. Back to you guys. All right, Dave, thank you. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow right here on 2K Sports.
Welcome to halftime. And after two quarters played, some ground to make up for the Miami Heat. And a bit of a gear switch here. Shaq, you are currently trending online right now. Fans are demanding you try your hand in a hot dog eating contest. Oh, Ernie, I actually would like to see this happen as well. I bet some of these guys would humble you, Shaq. Come on now, stop it. It wouldn't be fair. I'd be putting up Wilt Chamberlain numbers as a rookie contestant. Well, the key is being able to stretch your stomach, I've heard. Yours is already stretched from the post-Laker days, though. Nope. Now back to our game. Pretty impressive first half for the New York Knicks. They got the Shaq seal of approval of how they went to work, moving bodies around, attacking the rim. This is how you run a successful offense. I know you love to see it. Old school whooping inside. And that concludes halftime. Now time to send it over to Kevin Harlan as the game's about to resume. And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. Nice game. Great performance by Julius Randle. Well, we'll find out if they were able to find an answer for him over the break. He was scoring with ease in that first half. Yeah, just way too easy out there. And I'm sure Coach is going to make that a priority at halftime. And New York, looking at who they've got. Out on the perimeter, DiVincenzo and Barrett. Rando will step in at the four with Robinson as the center. And it's quickly in at the point guard. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. And that 82% free throw percentage this season must have him feeling pretty good about himself Take at the line. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw, good Butler. And Brent, the thing you respect about Jimmy Butler, here's a guy with an old school mentality. Well, I love that he competes against the other team, Greg, but there's a part of Jimmy Butler, and we saw it a lot in the last two seasons, how much of a protector he is of the culture. And so Butler nails both of them. Now you can tell he's feeling confident right now at the line, and when he's on, he can be lights out. Pass to DiVincenzo. Back to quickly. On the wing, DiVincenzo. Back to quickly. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Quickly's got 11 points. Now don't let Quickly's build fool you. He can compete inside against some tough opponents. And here are the Heat now. Outside Butler. To the inside. Here's Adebayo. And Adebayo throws it down. Yeah, undersized guys with athleticism do these kind of things, playing above the rim. Love to see him get up like that. The Knicks leading by six. Passes it to Barrett. Here's DiVincenzo. Outside for Robinson. And the three off target. And it's Butler with the ball. He'll bring it up for Miami. Inside. Love. Good. And Butler gets the assist. There are only a few players in the league who can hit a teammate like that in stride. Beautiful assist. And we're just about a minute and a half into the third quarter of basketball. Barrett against Butler. Robinson misses. And that was almost a block. Still did enough to alter the shot. Yeah, altering the shot. Just as long as there's a miss, that kind of energy not wasted. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. And let's take a look now at the stats for Butler. The last 10 or so games, he has been remarkable. He's putting up about 20 points per game, seven assists, and five rebounds. And you look at the numbers he's been putting up. Fantastic scoring production from him. Yeah, hard to ask for anything more at this point. He's really stepped up, and he's really delivered. Now here's Randall. He's got 14. On the wing quickly. Out to Barrett. 
Butler with the steal. Oh, and he plucks it off the glass. Wow. Let's go. And Barrett gets it to go. He's got 11. Great dribble move there by Barrett. He continues to build out his offensive game. Hero, that's a two-pointer. And again, it's the Heat missing. He is just really almost playing for the other team. The shooting has just been poor. And he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. So when we're talking about team identities, uh, Greg, what would you say is the Miami Heat's identity? Tough-nosed, aggressive, and hard-working. Uh, that's what attracted guys like Jimmy Butler here in the first place. And that's the style of ball they want to continue playing. No good on that one. And he sinks the second. The Heat trail by seven. And now the latest from our reporter, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. You know, Jalen Brunson, for the NBA at least, is small in stature. But his tremendous footwork enables him to operate inside and out. He says, I've tried to make my game for what I had as versatile as possible. I've got to be crafty. I'm not jumping out of the gym. I'm not racing down the floor in two seconds. But I'm going to keep you off balance. Kevin? Oh, I love his game. David, I know you do as well. Hey, thank you. Here's Barrett. Jimmy Butler making his last shot. And to get open is Robinson. Even Shenzo can't hit it. Or Miami, they've gone three of five to start the second half, developing a nice rhythm out there. Adebayo with a screen on Barrett. Kicks it out to Hero. Over Barrett. Hero, no good. Well, maybe not the best shot against that kind of defense, but he still has the ability to knock that kind of shot down. Let's it go with a three. It's hauled in by the Heat. Adebayo's got 11 rebounds in the game. Teammates right now covering up for the type of off performance he's having. In terms of scoring, this has not been his best night. It's tipped. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Knicks will retain possession. And a moment now to check out some of the numbers for Robinson. Seventh in blocks, and he's an elite glass eater, a factor inside among the top ten in rebounds per game. And his ability to patrol the lane is a difference maker for that team. Exceptional timing and, and anticipation. That's why he's a top ten shot blocker. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. Here's Randall. Bam's getting so much better about understanding the length and where it is that he can be best to cover ground. Hero kicks to Adebayo for three. Love gets the three-pointer to fall. Love's got seven. Now he's going to punish you if you leave him open. He's more than willing to take the open three when he's got it. New York's gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. And there's the foul. It goes on Jimmy Butler. That'll be his second foul of the game. And we have to take another glance at that powerful rejection. And this is why coaches stress the importance of defense. Big block there in this close game. Barrett against Butler. Barrett the pass to DiVincenzo. Here's quickly and stolen by Love. That's what we call intelligent defense. Just put himself in a position to make a play on that kicker. Lowry's shot is good. And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. The Knicks have gone 2-7 from the field in the third. That leaves room for improvements here. 
to DiVincenzo. And looks like the illegal kick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. Uh, beyond the leaning, you could see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. Got to hold firm or you're going to get a call. Quickly against Lowry. He dishes it to Butler. Driving in. The pass to Autobio. Double team on Autobio. Hero no good. And Randall has got the ball here for the New York Knicks. And it's Barrett penetrated. Up and in on the layup. Barrett's got four this quarter. Well, that's R.J. Barrett just simply going hard to the rim. And here are the Heat now. Trailing by time two. Out, out. And the Heat call time here. Nice game. Great Started. performance by Julius Randle. Yeah, the defense has not provided any threat to stop him out there. So it should come to no surprise that he continues to attack the basket. Right now, let's check out the teams with the best free throw percentage. Number one, the Heat. You can't be careless when you play them. I mean, no wasted opportunities at the line. It's a team effort, and they're getting it done. Get it up, get it up. New York on D. The lead is two. Outside Butler. Back to Lowry. Pass to Hero for the lead. The shot's good on the assist by Lowry. Lowry's got six assists now in the game. Well, the defense very attentive to him in the first quarter, but he's finally gotten loose in the second and making them pay. Now here's Randall. 14 points for him. And here's Barrett. Quickly with a wide open look. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Quickly, competitive, and responds with a three of his own. The Heat have gone a solid 6 of 11 when shooting here in the third quarter. The 8-footer, drained for two points. Lowry's got it all tied up now for the Heat. New York's gone 1 of 3 from downtown since halftime. Barrett kicks to Randall. On the wing, DiVincenzo. He's covered by Hero. Quickly against Lowry. Barrett, wide open, he fires. Off target with his three. Miami's gone into the three-point range four times since halftime and buried two of them. Well, when you talk about Tyler Hero, this is a guy that looks to get better every single season. Well, his focus should be just on improving his percentages. We know how versatile he is, but if he's able to become more efficient, wow, look out. Quickly, he gets that one. Quickly has got seven now in this quarter. Immense focus quickly with all kinds of confidence around that tight coverage. He'd have gone 8 of 13 on shot attempts to begin the second half. Outside Butler. Passes to Hero. Lock at six. Love with the screen for Hero. Knicks with the rebound. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. Pass to Randall. Robinson a screen on left. Randall with the ball. Now defended by Adebayo. And the dunk by Robinson. Robinson is very fluid as a big, and he comes off that pick ready to shoot. And so here is Miami. A two-point game. Outside Lowry. To the paint. Stolen by Robinson. Out to the right wing. 
And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Kyle Lowry picks one up there. Well, Randall can hold his own down on the inside with that physical frame. Let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Knicks. I like this throwback approach they're taking, looking to score high percentage shots in the paint. And so far, it's working. And it seemed like throughout this game, right after the jump ball, they've just been feeling it from distance, getting all the looks they want and continuing to take advantage of that three-point line. He's off on the first. And yes, there's been growth in Julius Randle and his game year after year, adding little things. But this big man focuses on playing to his strengths. Robinson's checked in for the Heat. He hits the second from the line. The Heat trail by three. The pass to Adebayo. Adebayo with a screen for Butler. Back to Adebayo. Robinson with the block. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. Good. DiVincenzo's got 15 points. DiVincenzo getting those feet together, and Dante does the rest. Quickly against Hero. Pass to Robinson. To the middle. Stolen by Robinson. And a fast break now for New York. From down in the low post, it goes. Now it's a seven-point New York lead. And that's great to see Dante out there on the break. When he gets his steps together like that, he can attack the rim. Butler feeling out of it. Passes it to Autobahn. To stop the drought, Robinson with the block. Here's Barrett. In the corner, it's DiVincenzo. No good on the triple. Yeah, the three-pointer has not been his weapon in this one. He had one in the first quarter and still zero here in the second. And some changes here for the Heat. Thomas Bryant comes in for Bam Adebayo. And Kayla Martin subbed in for Kevin Love. Now, Hero. He's guarded closely. Six on the shot clock. The kick out to Bryant. A second chance effort. It's rebounded by New York. Robinson's got rebound number 13 for him here tonight. Here's McBride. He's covered by Hero. Some solid defense from Bryant. Hero finds Butler. Over Robinson. There's another block. Uh, a defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Greg protecting the rim. Love the hustle. McBride passes to Barrett. He takes it in. Fires from deep. The shot comes out. The Heat trail by seven. And there's a minute 45 left in the third quarter of the game. Martin, the pass to Bryant. No good, and they can't put an end to this drought. The Knicks leading by seven. Here's McBride, still scoreless. The shot's good. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. There's 117 left to play in the third. Timeout called time out, the Heat. And here we look at Hartenstein. He can do a little Hart bit of everything for you. Hartenstein, probably the biggest skill he has that I see often is the playmaking ability. So he'll rebound and be physical, but all of a sudden sneak a pass in there with a great assist. The Heat making a switch here. Jovic is checked in. And a moment to see numbers for Randall. He's averaging 19 points per game, 10 rebounds, and 3 assists. And he's been a rock in the middle for them over that stretch of games. Dominating the glass is his trademark. I feel like those rebounds are wearing down and eroding the opponent. His effort right now, physically and mentally, has been good. 
Now, here is Robinson. Five points in the game. Pass to Hero. The Heat need to get a shot off. Robinson misses. And they just can't find a way to end this thing. Nothing falling right now. Frustration seems to be mounting here, and you can see not just in their faces, but right now in their quick and hurried shot selection. Here's Hart. No good there. Some solid defense from Robinson. Man, what about Duncan Robinson, Brent, from undrafted to signing a $90 million contract? Well, that's a nice path to be on, don't you think, Kevin? you got to admire Duncan Robinson taking advantage of his opportunities. Find the lanes. Find the lanes. One shot. Every team in the league would love to have a guy like Tyler Hero, an elite shooter off the catch, scores in bunches and spaces the floor. And the Heat making a change here. Lowry's checked in. The Heat trail by eight. Outside, Hero. There's 25 seconds left in the third. Outside, Robinson. Again, the miss by the Heat. It's Hart on the wing. He's covered by Hero. Uh, for him, it's harder to miss that shot than it is to make that shot. I think he was anticipating a bit of a bump there. And so it's New York in the driver's seat. Up eight points at the end of the quarter. And it's been their rugged defense setting the tone. We'll return shortly. How about a look at today's State Farm assist of the game? Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter form. Well, there's a way to break down the defense with the handle, but you can do it with the pass. Prime example of that right there. And with three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store for us. And so it's Randall bringing it up now for the New York Knicks. So with Butler sitting on the bench, this is who Eric Spolster has on the floor. Adebayo at center with Martin next to him. Back for a pair for them. It's Lowry and Robinson. And it's Jovic in at the three spot. Robinson finds Lowry. Now Martin. Some nice ball movement here by the Heat. Now here is Lowry. He's covered closely. Shot clock at six. And there's the pass to Jovic. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. And the first one drops. Yeah. 
And he makes both free throws. New York leading by six. McBride passes to Randall. Here's McBride. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Kyle Lowry picks one up there. One falls for And so he hits both. And here are the Heat now, trailing here by eight. Lowry passes to Jovich. Now out of bio. The baseline J off the mark. And, the, and they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's plus five in that category. Well, I love how hard Hart is fighting on plays like that, taking the extra contact. free throw is good yeah I know this gets said a lot Josh Hart plays with Hart it's true though this guy is a fantastic competitor plays with energy on both ends and it's infectious for his teammates and Hart drops them both now here's Lowry Side Robinson wants to get it to Adebayo and This will blow. His basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. How about Adebayo just going right through contact? No reason his first name's banned. And the importance of Adebayo to this team cannot be overstated. Well, what they rely on most, Greg, we know is the defensive impact he's going to make. So selfless down there to throw his body around, block shots, get out and guard pick and rolls. And he does it so consistently for this squad. It gives them a chance to win every night because Bam's willing to do the dirty work. And throughout his career, Lowry's been a threat from that area. The Knicks leading by four. And we're around two minutes into the fourth quarter here. Here's McBride. And again, it's the Knicks missing. Well, there's more he could have done in this game for sure, but it hasn't kept them from pulling ahead. Robinson for three. Wow, came this close to a four-point play. He'll head to the line for three free throws. Uh, defenses are always in the starter's block to sprint out to Duncan Robinson and close out hard, but you can't be reckless and foul him in the act. Robinson's checked in for Hartenstein. And here are the Knicks now. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. McBride passes to Grind. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. And the Knicks lead by three. And how about the grit and determination in the post? I mean, essential qualities to have late in a close game. Robinson against Hart. And Duncan Robinson, good for three. Robinson's got the game tied up here for Miami. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Yeah, pretty infectious right here. Guys in good spirits and percentages from downtown on the rise in the second half. To take the lead. 
Randall grabs the board. And you know what? If you're the defense, you got him right where you want him. Let him keep shooting those threes because he's been brutal in this half. On offense, here are the Heat. They're on a 14-6 run. Jovic passes to Lowry. A miss that time would have put him up. New York's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. And Adebayo sends it back. Over to the wing, to the paint. Good ball movement here by Miami. Robinson finds Lowry. They set the pick. Three-pointer. Robinson pulls it in. Robinson's got rebound number 17, if you can believe that. McBride passes to Robinson. Handle with the ball. Now defended by Adebayo. He had a nice open look right there. McBride's got five points in the quarter. Well, Randall, when he has the ball in his hands, aware that there might be an open teammate, that time he found him. Lowry passes to Jovic. Outside, Martin. And dead on that time. Beautiful shot. I'll tell you, they're right in this. We'll see if they can maintain momentum. Yeah, this is not the team that we saw in the first quarter right now. Way more confident out there, and the cohesion of the team is impressive. Here's McBride. Banked in off the glass. And the Knicks lead by three. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. And it's Lowry with the ball. Brings it up for Miami. Pass to Autobio. Autobio with a screen for Robinson. Back to Autobio. And there's the drive. And that's good. Robinson picking up the assists. Well, the energy on Bam's drive to the basket is really something the defense has to contend with. Hard to slow him down. New York's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Pass to Robinson. Here's Grimes. Here's McBride. And the Knicks hit again from deep. It just seems like the more he touches it, the more the lead grows. The Heat trail by four. Pass to Autobio. Lowry with the ball. Adebayo with a screen for Lowry. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. New York's gotten off four three-pointers in the final quarter, and two of them have fallen. Hart the pass to McBride. Here's Grimes. It's Hart on the wing. And the Knicks hit again from deep. Hart just whipping it away quickly, not giving the defender time to close out. Lowry with the ball. Looks it up for Adebayo, and Adebayo throws it down. Of all the action happening there, it's the assist that jumps out to me there. That's just a great look and a great setup for the bucket. New York takes timeout. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. Well, let's summarize what Tom Thibodeau went over with his guys during the break. Now, he reminded his team, keep looking for the deep ball. If the three is there, take it. You've done a good job getting those looks, so keep taking them. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. And it's out of bounds. The Heat will take it the other way. The Heat trail by five. And the pass to Autobio. Autobio with a screen on DiVincenzo. It's rebounded by New York. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Here's Randall. And oh, he jams it right over Kevin Love. Wow. And you talk about the entire package that you've seen from Randall. This is what puts it all together. What a move. 
And they're bringing you up close and personal on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. For Miami, they've gone 6 of 12 from the field here in the fourth and even 50%. For Bio, and out of Bio, throws it down. Oh, I dunk you very much. <laughs> he, can, he can really fly, and you combine that, Greg, with some nice penetration, too, and you've got two points. Here's Randall. And he drives in, and the wide-open shot from DiVincenzo. That's in, coming off an assist from Randall. Randall's got his fourth assist in this one. The Heat have gone 7 of 13 from the field here in the fourth. Hero against quickly. And Adebayo throws it down. And for Bam, it doesn't get any easier than that. Here's Barrett. Robinson a screen on Martin. Barrett dishes to Robinson. And Robinson throws it down. Elite passes like that are so hard to defend. He never had to break his stride. So full speed, two points. Butler against DiVincenzo. Fades away. That one rolling around and rims out. The Knicks leading by eight. Going inside. And it's quickly missing. The Heat have got a pretty good rhythm going offensively. Shooting 8 of 15 for the quarter. Butler against DiVincenzo. Butler kicks to Martin. Five to shoot. And Love has it in the corner. It's the three-point bomb. Check out Love striking from the corner, diversifying his selections to stay ahead of the D. Pass to Randall. This one for three. And it's Miami with the rebound. Adebayo's got rebound number 17, if you can believe that. Butler against DiVincenzo. Shots good by Butler. Now it's just a three-point Knicks lead. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Now DiVincenzo. Passes it to Quickly. Down low. Here's Barrett. It's hauled in by the Heat. Love's got six rebounds now in the game. And it's Martin penetrating. Here's Otobio. Randall grabs the board. Randall's got 11 rebounds in the game. Quickly the pass to Barrett. Yeah, Barrett is a strong finisher, so don't expect a little bit of contact to stop him cold. That one falls for Barrett. Kyle Lowry, he's checked in for Miami. And so Barrett nails both of them. Yeah, not the guy that you want to put at the line in these moments. He's not missing these. Adebayo with a screen on DiVincenzo. Pass to Butler. And here's Adebayo. Robinson with the block. Quickly with it. Butler covering. Quickly the pass to Barrett. The shot from the low post is good. And the Knicks lead by seven. Using some muscle there on the finish. I like seeing Barrett be active inside. Butler against Barrett. Side Butler. Inside. Adebayo. 
Randall grabs the board. Oh, you could tell right there he just wanted to go for the jam, but the defense too good and distracting. Quickly, great positioning on the putback. And getting in there quickly to crash the glass. Ryan has gone beyond the arc seven times here in the fourth and been successful three times. Here's Butler. Robinson pulls it in. Robinson's got rebound number 19 now. Incredible board work there at the pass to Robinson. Randall against Martin. Barrett kicks to Randall. Hands it from downtown. And it's a 12-point Knicks lead. And, and so only one team answered the bell tonight, guys. Not a monster blowout by any means, but still a double-digit victory for the Knicks. And the big difference here was accuracy from three-point range. Yeah, and once they started sinking shots, it really stretched out the D and created other opportunities. And any time they got space, they seemed to just knock down another triple. And they took charge when it counted and will be notching their ninth win overall. And with this win now, we're all square, one and one. Two more games yet to come in what's proving to be a very competitive season series. And you know, guys, what a nice performance it was for Julius Randle. Yeah, it felt like there was more than one of him out there tonight. He was involved on every possession, and he made his presence felt in so many ways. No one near Randle as he lets it go. And it's off from three-point range. And here's Hero. He'll bring it up for the Miami Heat. The shot by Lowry. No good. And they can just let the clock run out here. Cannot argue with the W. There's the pass to DiVincenzo. And now Martin pushing it up. No one back to stop him. Had the opportunity on the break, but couldn't sink the three. And here's Randall. So no problem for New York as they get the win. A solid win on the road for them. This building was dead silent by the time GA this one wound down. And that's what you want to do. Take the crowd out of it by crunch time. Don't give them any chance to lift their team up at the finish. And now we'll go to David Aldridge who's standing by with our player of the game. Take it away, David. Thanks very much, Julius. Now look, you're banging in the paint, but what do you see from your backcourt? Uh, they do a great job of, you know, they obviously can score the ball, but getting us in the bench and running the offense very well and uh, leading the team that way. Well, they led you to a win tonight, Julius. Thank you for your time. Kevin? Thank you, David. And that'll do it, folks. For Brett Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan along with our 2K Sports crew. As New Balance presents our player of the game, Julius Randle.